Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney City, and this week I'm going to discuss diffusers for open ceiling designs. A lot of buildings have open ceiling designs these days. In a typical building with a ceiling, the diffusers are mounted flush to the ceiling so they line up with the ceiling grid. In an open ceiling, the diffusers and ductwork are exposed overhead. Many people don't realize that the ceiling actually contributes to the performance of the diffuser. A while back I discussed ceiling dependent versus ceiling independent diffusers. This is where that becomes really important. Let me make a little room to write here. As a quick refresher, ceiling dependent diffusers need a ceiling to maintain their air pattern. and ceiling independent diffusers do not need a ceiling to maintain their air pattern. So let's draw a diffuser in a ceiling. So the diffuser looks something like this. It's in a ceiling, we'll put the face plate in. Now the air pattern should come out something like this. The air comes out of the diffuser, hugs the ceiling, and then rolls through the room, creating induction and mixing with the room air. This gives you a well-mixed space and optimal comfort. You don't want the air dumping out of the diffuser like this. If your occupants are sitting under the diffuser here, this can be drafty and uncomfortable. So I won't go into what makes a diffuser ceiling dependent or a ceiling independent since I already did a podcast on that, but I will put a link to that podcast in the notes below. What I really wanted to do in this podcast was to actually show you some video of what it looks like for ceiling independent and ceiling dependent diffusers with and without a ceiling. So let's start with a smoke video of our ceiling independent Omni diffuser mounted in a ceiling. You can see it has a nice air pattern with the smoke holding up against the ceiling. Next we'll look at the same Omni dropped below the ceiling. So we've taken some ductwork and extended it down below the ceiling and let's run a smoke video of this. So now you can see it has no ceiling to help maintain the air pattern, but it still has pretty much the same air pattern that it had when it was mounted flush against the ceiling. Now next let's look at a ceiling dependent perforated diffuser mounted in a ceiling. Now you can see the air pattern is pretty nice and the smoke holds along the ceiling. So next let's look at the same perforated diffuser but dropped below the ceiling. So without the ceiling you can see that the air leaves the diffuser at about the same angle as the back pan so the air just comes out at an angle and drops or dumps into the space. This would be uncomfortable if you're sitting directly below this diffuser. So let me bring all four back on here. Let's label these. This is with a ceiling on the left, without a ceiling on the right, and then the top row is a ceiling independent diffuser, and the bottom row is a ceiling dependent diffuser. Even without the video running, you can see the difference in air pattern here. So you need to remember that if you have an open ceiling, you need to select ceiling independent diffusers to maintain the air pattern and allow the diffuser to perform the way it should for optimal mixing and comfort. So that covers diffusers used for open ceiling applications. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.